Hey everybody, Mr. AG here, and let us watch everything wrong with WWE Battleground 2016. And of course, click here to see the official release, click here to subscribe to Christian Miracle's channel, and please go support him, because he is awesome. Anyway, I watched this pay-per-view, so yeah, I'm going in knowing what's going to happen. I feel excited about this, and this is the last pay-per-view that we had the full brand all together before the draft. And I, if you're wondering, I watched the draft one. I know it was kind of long, but it wasn't really too long. It wasn't a pay-per-view one, if that makes sense to everybody. Anyway, um, I really got nothing. If you're wondering why I haven't been uploading as of lately and why other reaction videos have not been up, I will make a video explaining that later. I don't want to ruin this one by going on a little rant explaining. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let us watch. Yeah, let's go. Ah, it's going to be a refreshing. Like, I haven't forgot about this one. It's just that... Wow, it's just like, there was a lot of other things I had to do in the time, and like, I'm kind of feel bad that I didn't continually doing this, and you know, other stuff got, this other stuff kind of came up. And oh my god, I am so far behind with this guy in his videos. I am, he's made like 20 of these things more? Should event, yep, still, still. Camera static effect for an event called Battleground. What does a camera with problems have to do with a battleground? This event also went into overtime, much like the Money in the Bank event. What is up with pay-per-views going into overtime these days? I don't know. But I love the theme song, Invincible by Skillet. I say take some sins off just for the sole fact Skillet is in here. ...to hang on to the copyright infringement sin up until we're lost 24 hours later. Let's just hope she doesn't wear any of Ric Flair's outfits again. This event is called Battleground, yet the name templates are Raw and SmackDown. It's understandable that this is because the brand split is here once again, but this is a pay-per-view. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right. Well, I mean, like, the, I mean, the pay-per-view, um... WWE fixed Byron's name to Byron Saxton again after in the first <laughs> show it was labeled Byron Sexton. Thank you, <laughs> Really? I missed that? Aww! While one sin will be removed for Bailey finally appearing on the main roster, <laughs> another sin will be added because this was the only time for a while that she was going to be there. Seriously, Bailey ain't gonna be on the main roster for a while now, so that's yeah. one sin removed and one sin added. So same score here. But, but please take some sins off for Skillet. Skillet is awesome. They're one of my very first rock bands I enjoyed. Free match assault. Yeah. There was no need for a celebration anyway. The match hadn't even happened. Yeah, that's very much true. Has been champion for 307 days. Wrong. Just a little over 100 days. Because she had the Divas <coughs> Championship from September to WrestleMania, mm -hmm. the title was retired and Charlotte was no longer a champion. Then she won the women's title, thus starting a new reign. As well, I guess they like to... WWE Battleground. No one gives a shit about your hashtags. Hashtag don't give a shit about... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Also, I'm just gonna note that I will only be doing the tweet sins once per sin video, even if they appear so many times in the whole thing. Okay. That's nice stuff. Oh! Bail can Rana. Well, that looked like it actually hurt. That was Charlotte that took out Bailey, you idiot. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be like, you stupid idiot. Charlotte was likely saying, take me, go. <laughs> Welcome to the main roster, Bailey. Oh, wait. Mm. Don, come on. Bring it in. Hi, Tom. We're not hug life. And Michael's sitting between you two, so he'd like to be <laughs> crushed by the hug. Also, JBL hates hugs. <laughs> oh, remember these oh, I love that song so much. I can't, I'm just... Remember that. Matt Hardy beat Jeff Hardy to claim the Hardy name. What? Wait, wait, that wasn't it? I swear it was the same thing. Huh. Don't split the Wyatt family up. Like mm. a Taylor Swift relationship. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> oh, that's, no, that's pretty good, though. April 8, 2003 was my 7th birthday. Thanks for the shout out, New Day. LOL. Oh, oh he's adding a sin for his birthday? And Xavier. How was that tag legal? The referee didn't see Xavier tag Big E. So why isn't he telling Xavier to go back into the corner? Apparently, uh... Bray Wyatt video bombing. <laughs> oh, I remember this, man. Sexual pose. <laughs> oh, Holy shit. Attempted unnecessary 1080 degree spin failed. I remember this match. It was... Holy shit, a purple screen. I guess WWE knew my favorite color was purple and they knew I was going to send this, so they wanted to delight me with that purple screen. Guess what? Delight denied. 
advantages and enough to put Big uh. away. Who the hell is Big O? It's <laughs> Big E. Oh. That was like flotting a swat. Flotting a swat? It's swatting a fly, you idiot. Flotting a swat. The drugs that Michael take before coming out to commentate. Mm. And Braun Strowman. <laughs> oh, okay. Clearly jumped over the top rope there. He did. Oh. Jeez, Big E could have broken his neck. Right oh, there. I remember it's seeing this stuff. stuff. It was awesome, but also... Discount Cinderella. It was also... Deja Wu. Deja Wu. What are you doing? Whoa. Oh. With a fall like that, it's amazing that Zack didn't break his wrists. Oh. Two sins here. First one is for Michael. That was a kick to the upper back and neck, not the head. The second is to JBL for saying he never saw that, as if he had never seen that super kick from Rusev before, even though he's commented almost every match Rusev's had the last couple of years. You're very much true. Post-match assault. Very normal. Joe Raleigh's debut on the main roster was pretty good, I admit it. But all he did was show up and not... Oh yeah, a lot of people were complaining about this one. Hey, it's me. I'm here now, moments. I'm like LeBron James and Tom Brady and Channing Tatum all rolled into one. Sorry, Seth. Channing Tatum's a great actor, but not the best. I mean, Roman Reigns, he's, he's a wild animal. Only when he's high. <laughs> so they're gonna build a statue. <laughs> you once had a statue, Seth. Then it was destroyed. Gotta admit, that had to sting. There's gonna be a ah, um, Rollins. <laughs> Seth Rollins rips off the rock. Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens, the 576 encounter or something. Who gives a shit about Hulu? Is he only doing the Hulu counter ones? Kevin wasting too much time mocking the crowd when he could be, I don't know, trying to beat Sammy? Nah, it's just Kevin for ya. He does! Kevin and <laughs> is both memorable and hilarious. Oops. <laughs> it's always something. He's almost like a fan. <laughs> Even the referee is rooting for Sammy to get up by helping the fans clap for him. Sammy Zayn! Oh! oh. Uh, you failed. Also, how the fuck is Sammy not hurt from that? I'm not saying he should be. I'm just saying that's gotta be a nearly broken neck from a fall like that. Oh, I feel bad that didn't quite land. If you recall, John, Sammy injured that shoulder during his damn entrance, not during his match with John Cena. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. That's what I'm talking about. Exploder suplex. Kevin could have countered that as Sammy took some time before delivering the exploder suplex. Yeah, very much. Yeah. Sammy thinks he's Edge. Oh, oh! Jesus, that one had to hurt, and I was amazed at that performance too. Yeah, two awesome. Honestly, what's so exciting about these two delivering constant forearms? After watching so many matches these two had, how is that exciting? I don't know. Copyright infringement? JBL, huh? stop calling Kevin fat. Oh. Gonna run the tight rope. Tight rope? Don't you mean top rope? <laughs> Maybe it's the, the whole idea that wrestling was part of the circus. What does that mean? Sammy trying to pull off a Shawn Michaels beats I think uh, I think it was like a clutch is like a video game term for when like you almost lost or like like yes um okay I'm right I can't explain it. Because of an epic and thankfully final match between these two and the standing ovation they got midway through the match, I am duty bound to remove twenty cents. Yes. I really liked Battleground this year, okay? I really like this. Mainly also because they had the great theme song, so Yeah. Gets a center mover due to that being one of the best metal bands in history. Skip the damn pre-show panel. Can you please take a pa take some <laughs> That sign to the very right says why? My answer, just because. Uh, can uh, can you take some uh, sins off for Skillet? Idiot would turn their back on their opponent and give them so many attack possibilities. Natalia. This is like the sixth time Natalia has tried to escape the ring. <laughs> Isn't the disarmor supposed to be when Becky's opponent is on her front? Otherwise, it's just a uh, what, was it, was it, what was it with that one position? What is that? this? The jacket, tank top. Roman's got leather, but it's on his vest. And the tank top? <laughs> Not the one. Correct. Let's keep moving forward. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Yes, you have. Previously on WWE. Uh, hey, look, the Miz has a giant dick on his face. Ironic, considering he is a giant dick. Oh. A fake one, not Miz. Also part of SmackDown. Whoa! I thought this was a PG show. <laughs> he did his best impression. Oh, I feel so bad for Darren Young. Like he was, like it would have been great if he won. Giant dick on Miz's face. Miz was able to counter. 
Miz managed to take control of the match, but decided to walk out, even though he had the chance to defeat Darren right there. Uh, but otherwise, the whole make Darren Young great again thing. Club. Oh, and, yeah, Enzo and Cass are there too. Why? Because... Reasons. <laughs> what the hell is he? Uh, I forgot. I, then why is Cass wearing the certified G shirt instead of you? I kind of forgot he was wearing that. True. Enzo strange, but mostly he's fun. And he's the aftermath of 10 monster energy drinks too, <laughs> might I add. I can't drink energy drinks. No, I cannot. Well, I mean, like, I can drink the coffee-flavored ones, but not real ones. <laughs> Enzo is a dick to Crocs. Yeah, my dad wears Crocs. <laughs> is it ironic that the camera pointed at that one fan right there when Enzo said that? <laughs> <laughs> What? What just they happened? seriously tried to censor crap? Five cents for bullshit. Didn't censor that now, did you? Nearly one minute in this already too long promo of no talking. Uh. I think I just found out why this event went into overtime. Maybe mm. pack a lunch, some sandwiches, cut the crust off. I don't know. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Wrestling can just weird things sometimes. It's just amazing. And now AJ stops. Cass is a dick to his own partner. He tossed AJ into Enzo too. And from the looks of Where? things, Enzo got the worst of that. Where's Enzo? Oh, there he is. <laughs> um. Is this because John Cena's in this match? Yes. Okay, I guess we're even now with wrestlers accidentally taking out their own teammates. <laughs> Save the match for <laughs> oh, the table didn't break. So many illegal competitors are in the ring. Why is the referee not throwing away the match like he normally would? Because like, seriously, those who are not the legal men have a count of five to get out of the ring, and these guys were in the ring for the better part of two minutes. And I checked, this match was not a no disqualification match. Oh, it's all right. The air somehow survived <laughs> that without injury. What, the air? It real lasts almost 20 minutes of pay per view time. Next to the long promo with Enzo and Cass, I think this is the other reason why the pay-per-view went into overtime. Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> quiet. Give it up, man. We're not going to be quiet. Well, that's his job. The biggest highlight reel in WWE history. Don't you say something like that in almost every highlight reel ever done? I don't think so. I've checked. <laughs> I don't think he said that everywhere. Lesnar. But why? Seriously, give me a good reason why this match exists. <laughs> And the it's the sell tickets excuse is not good enough. What did either man do to the other to begin hyping up this match? Um, it's this their first match. It's match. the first time they're actually fighting. Also, how the hell do you hype up this match when these two are on separate brands? Seriously, that's like one guy is hyping up the match on one mountain, while the other is hyping it up on the other. This match exists for no reason at all. It's the first time they're battling. Nine months, something was missing, and it was this. You mean to say it took you nine months to notice that this was missing in your life? It's one thing for an injury to take nine months, but to realize WWE was missing the last nine months? I'm so confused. Uh, Something was missing. It was you! My buddy Adam from Adam's Wrestling Show? Is that who you're talking to? Is that who's been missing from your life? <laughs> <laughs> nice plugin, man. Nice plugin. I actually should check that out. Even the cameraman laughed at that comment so hard he almost tripped out the ring apron. <laughs> Oh yeah, GOAT, baby. You're welcome. First you think you're Daniel Bryan by saying GOAT, now you think you're Damian Sandow by saying you're welcome. Stephanie McMahon, one of my favorite people and has been from the moment She's I on the list. WWE. Even when she humiliated you and fired you seven years ago? Who stuck 69 tax? You're never gonna give that up, are you? I had to pull these tacks out one by one. <coughs> no, you didn't. The doctors did. Yeah. After nine months and faced Fandango. It's Fandango, you stupid idiot. <laughs> there, Chris, I said it for you. Good job, good job. Who the hell is Randy Lincoln to? Is his so wife in the crowd? No enhancement needed. Oh! Oh, wait, what? <laughs> no! I thought that was like, oh, no, no. And eat it for breakfast. Chris Jericho thinks Brock Lesnar is a cannibal. And Brock also <coughs> says, you're a stupid idiot. In what universe would Brock use that as an insult to someone? Could take me to Viperville, Randy, with me now. Just get to the main event already. Oh, out of 
No, it wasn't. They're kind of just, um... They're kind of just doing that nowadays, just saying RKO out of nowhere. Bring Rust. It's only been 30 days, not a whole freaking year. But let me say something here. I understand that Roman was originally scheduled to compete tonight before his suspension, but honestly, his punishment should have been the removal from this title match because of what he did. Look at me, Stephanie. This is how I <laughs> I know, but people want the match. It's a bad idea to team up on someone in a triple threat match because they'll pretend to be hurt waiting outside the ring before taking advantage of your dirty work. Dean Ambrose looking to cover Roman Reigns. Took the leg kick out at two. That was a kick out at one, you idiot. We know this. Hey, I thought you weren't doing much more Roman's things. Actually, it won't. I might wait. No, not Roman's things. Chris's things. Chris, I catch it. Splash, not Roman Reigns. Tonight just isn't Michael's night. No, he is not. Also, new trend. Hashtag Roman Reign. Roman Reign. That was a perfect synchronization right there. Let's remove a few seconds. <laughs> but unfortunately, I have to send Michael yet again for referring to the Superman punch as just a big punch. Dean winning's not the best part. The WWE title going to SmackDown isn't the best part. The best part is the look on Stephanie's face after Raw loses. Yay. Oh, 95 cents. Yes, decent. I like to say it's decent enough, not 100 at least. Because 100 means bad, we all know that. All right, everyone, that was the battleground everything wrong with, and I enjoyed it. I laughed a lot more than I usually did. Oh, hey, Christian Miracle, please never change that much because you're funny and stuff. <laughs> I like the fact he does, uh, like, literally, it's, I, um, this whole, um, the tweet thing, the whole thing, like, there was a lot of tweets throughout the battleground thing. Like, I'm not sure if you guys noticed that, but it, there was a lot of tweets throughout the entire battleground pay-per-view so i'm at least happy he's, he's taking that down as a sin but i'm a little upset he never commented on skillet being the main event theme invincible has he listened to it it's awesome like i can't give it to you now how much i love skillet they're such an amazing rock band i love them so much uh if i could just if i could just if i can just um get an autograph that'd be amazing anyway Otherwise, I enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed this. It's funny. It's great. <laughs> like everything wrong with should be. And honestly, I'm not gonna say that they're better or anything like that. Like they're better than the than the than the every, the Cinema Sins people. But they definitely have a Christian Miracle definitely has a unique touch that that I don't think Cinema Sins can capture because not because it's just WWE pay-per-views, but just because he has these new things that just separates him from the rest. That's definitely. In my opinion, one of the better qualities of his everything wrong with. And my god, I still have a lot of catching up to do. Oh my god, like, like this is the battleground one, everyone. If you want to go, go to his channel, check how many I have to get to. If you think I'm running out of videos to Let's Watch, no, just because Ruby's almost done. No, no, I am, no, he... He gets them out just like that. I have a hard time getting them uploaded. My God, I am so far behind. Oh. Anyway, hit that like and subscribe button just because like the WWE. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Good.